good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Masa ako. Um, so today I will this about reproduction that we were not able to cover last a uh, meeting. So I aim to make this a fairly short lang akoan, fairly short lang a discussion. I I am actually not feeling well. I my estrogen levels are fluctuating, so. Um, I want to end this class at 35, hopefully, humana na ta. General, general chemistry. Um, reporters. Reporters can use the time. And I am already. I am actually planning to be. Ah, gusto na ko expose pa mo to a lot more problems. Gusto na ko expose pa mo on practicing how to solve those um problems. Um, psychometric problems. Um, simulative tool activities. Nakuha. Maglasi tao ma, dili. Dili ha. Anyway. One. 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 Nasaan? Dili ko madungga. Eh? Ano ba? Ano ba? Dili mo. Ano ba? 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 Ano Ito? <laughs> so just a few corrections lang. So this, um, this stamen, I believe it's the stamen. So the stamen, which is this one, the male reproductive organ, and then can you stigma and style? This is the female reproductive organ. The stamen has pollen, or pollen grains, and then that should be carried by the wing. It's light enough to be carried by the wind, by the water, or the bee. And then, if wala po na shift of the fertilization of the ovules that is present in this um, rig A, and then that fertilized, I mean, that ovule will be fertilized and then will undergo. Um, processes, okay, developmental processes, and then cell coal, cell division to create an end product, which is a seed that you get to grow into a plant. So, to uh, uh, further understand, sani ang pamaagi sa flowering plants to to I don't know, I don't know. 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 I
Kayaknya siapa? 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 Kayaknya Reproduction in plants. Why na may link din dara ma? In this module. Yes, sir. Hindi ka pagkita ng quality. Oh, sabi ko yung pangit in the quality ko. Dara. Sexual reproduction in plants. In this module, you... Okay, go ahead and think of ma'am. It is spring season. Flower, the most beautiful part of the plant, is in. Did you already know that flowers are not bred? As the reproductive part of the plant. And in the flower, stamen is the male reproductive. Part what some flowers can Marvel? No, it's Such flowers are called bisexual flowers. For example, <laughs> on the other hand, we product sexual, I asexual, sexual, by him, this class, what am I? For example, corn, cucumber, except for stamen and a couple. A stamen is made of two main parts, anther and filament, all on grain that entails the male gametes. A couple, on the other hand, is made up of three parts. The terminal part is called the stigma. The middle elongated part is the style and the, the ovary ovules are present. It is the ovule that has the female gamete called the egg cell. For sexual reproduction to take place, a male gamete is to be fused with a female gamete thereby forming a zygote. Now for that, the male gametes first a pollen grain carrying the male gametes is transferred from the stamen of a flower to the stigma of the same or the other flower. Such transfer of pollen grains is known as pollination. If the pollen grain of a flower lands on the stigma of the same flower, it is called called for flower lands on the stigma of another flower of the same or another plant of the same type, it is called cross-pollination. Pollination occurs with the help of different agents. Once a pollen grain from the pollen grain, this tube drop travels through the style and reaches the ovary. The ovary. After that, the male and the female gamete fuse together to form the zygote. This process of fusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization. The zygote formed after the fertilization then divides Several times it develops a tough coat and changes to a seed. The ovary, on the other hand, ripens and forms a fruit around the seed. At this time, the other parts of the flower, like the sepals and petals, fall off. So, a seed present inside a fruit contains an embryo, which is actually a baby plant. Each time a seed is planted in soil and provided appropriate conditions, it grows into a seedling, which then
engage in characteristic behaviors that increase the odds of reproduction. Um, these characteristic behaviors is actually internal and physical. Okay? So, in order to accommodate reproduction na ay mga features sa lawas, sa isa ka-animal, and that will enable the animal to protect Animals and plants develop characteristic structures and behaviors to help them survive in their environment and pass on genetic information to their offspring. Kung sa plant, labi na sa mga flowering plants, ang ilahang plant, ilahang survival features para sure sila ang uh, mag mag stay jen o mga ilahang sa signal ni or si mam iska tung mga b get to another plant for cross pollination okay and then para pas pas sa pagiging muna ilahang survival characteristics ah uh, that is also found in other animals like animals actually has instincts choose their partners like i will for the birds for example i will only choose the bird or the female bird will think i will only choose the bird that has the most beautiful voice because as you know birds can actually sing parrots can talk and other birds can sing how do they know that they sing the way they chirp Okay. The way the chirp is not the usual chirping. And then you can see that it's, an, it's a succession of chirping. So that's, that's how um, birds sing. And whenever they sing, whenever the males sing, it's actually calling out. They try to give themselves to her. Please choose me to be your mate. Please choose me to be the one. Wala na nagkilit tayo. <laughs> Main speed and reproduction. Okay, so now you instinct ang animals. Of course, kit. Tatao because we're also labeled as animals. Okay. Na atay choice. Okay, na atay sense. Of speed. Um, we have. Standards. We set standards. I am attracted to this kind of partner. I am, me, I am drawn to this kind of partner. Nati mga inga nga feelings, nati inga nga standards, and so on and so forth. So forth. Okay? Para, may sure na to, na ang um, mukhan pa, mukhan pa, mukhan pa, mukhan pa. And then, Atuang body mismo, atuang body mismo, mag-urge sa to ato reproduce. That's why we have urges. That's why it's normal to talk about reproductive health. That's why it's normal to talk about sexual health because that's human instinct. That's, that's your body 
and that your race telling you to to replicate yourself so that be considered as an endangered species in this earth because um down dwindling in numbers na gumamay ganin in numbers will actually pose threats to your existence it will actually pose threats to your existence Gamay ra mo, then you are vulnerable to a lot of external and external um, dangers na magpalibot sa inyo. Okay? If gamay ra ta, gamay ra ta yung ones, then another race will dominate her. Okay? So, it's normal, it's instinct, and it's vital for survival. Okay? However, I tell you this before I introduce to you the um, parts of the reproductive system of different animals. I, however, I will just present, I will just say this to you because this is very important. Uh, um, times are already changing. The way we habitually do our daily, our daily lives are changing. It affects us internally psychologically, mentally, and so on and so forth. And then that is imprinted on our DNA. And that can be passed on to our to our descendants. So we must be careful in choosing our partners. We have a lot of we had a lot of things to consider. Now, not just our urges, not just our human instinct, not just our standards, and so on and so forth. I encourage you that in the future, when you want to settle down, when you want to, when you want to, when you want to enter into, build a family, like bearing a child, I want you to consider trying to do a blood test. Trying to run a blood test, compatibility. to reduce the risk of having your child inherit the deadly diseases that is embedded in your DNA. Like, for example, if you carrier ka sa type 2 diabetes, meaning your family has an history of That's diabetes, diabetes and most diabetes. probably than not you have it or you are a carrier of it, then if your partner is also the same, kung carrier po siya sa type 2 um, diabetes or sa animal ay nasa animal probability na ma-inherit sa mga anak ka na ang disease. So I encourage you in the in the future, in the future lang ha. Ayun sana ninyo muna na karon. Please in the future do this. Okay, before you plan to have a child. Sex education ma. Please do a blood test. Nadobi mo na kasi na ang history o sa medical history na embedded sa imong DNA and then sa imong partner and then cross match na niya and then if na ay mag na ay mag overlap na kung mag mag plano kido ng mahim mag bearo child kung mag plano kido ng mag kaanak inga an with four minutes four minutes sorry deformities na pwede madala sa mong anak and so on and so forth. Okay? So, we have to consider that because times are changing. Um, our DNA is rapidly kuan, rapidly um, imprinting a lot of diseases nga agkakuan na to sa katuang lifestyle ka. So, please do that in the near future. Okay? So, let's proceed to naming the different different parts of uh, reproductive system sa humans and other animals. So first, we have here sa humans. This is the male reproductive part of the humans. We have here a uterus. This is actually... Okay, and then you have here a urinary bladder. The riga ka manipgakuan. Si Ma'am lagi ang pilit. Kapag ito nag-isa lang sa inyong kiti. Kaya ako makikita mo na yung physical. Hindi mo na makita basta kita galaw din. Ma'am. And then, and the jacular 
it up, your post prostate, your prostate, and then your corpus spongiosus. So, important yan is you are able to identify your duct difference, and then your penis, and then your epididymis, your testes, your scrotum, your urethra, and glands and penis. Glands penis. Okay, so asa dani, asa dani nga organ. If you happen to know, asa dani nga organ makita ang imo hang kuan, um, sperm. In yung Testis. sperm. Or sperm sa humans. Asa makita? Asa nga organ nag, nag store? Asa testis, ma'am. Okay. Nakita testosterone. Okay, na asa testis. Okay. Yes. The, 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 the testis is a very delicate no, part of your reproductive system. Now, if your testis is, is exposed to a warm nga temperature, kung wala nang scrotum, kung naay something wrong sa scrotum, like the piskin ay scrotum, di niya maprotekta ni mong testis. And then, often, more often than not, agka-expose ni mong testis into a fluctuating temperature, then that can actually affect, okay? That can actually affect the number of sperm that you can produce. And then, if no ang imong mong sperm ka, then, mas no ang imong chance of conceiving. Okay? Mas no ang imong chance of of Fertilizing an egg, a female's egg. Now, if high yung imong sperm count, then you're good. Okay, you can actually conceive a baby. That's why it's a very delicate part. Pati. Mao nang na ay mga regulatory, ay heat regulation, um, parts sa imong reproductive system. Kaya kailangan din yung matutuang eggs. Okay, din yung matutuang sperm. Kailangan, luto na ako ito yung pero luto. The one there is. Dapat dili may expose ang yung testes ng kapitin temperature. That's why it is actually it is actually underwears na dus. Kaya nang dili bitaw tight because if you wear tight underwears, then you're killing your sperm. If you wear underwears that are actually hot, kaya nang igang ba igang siya nga panapun, then you're actually trying to kill your sperms. Okay, so you have you muna ng recommended karon nga magamit ng boxer briefs compared to brief lang ng murang panty. Okay, so boys, please do um note that. Okay, that is actually detrimental to your sperm health. And then again, kaniyang scrotum muna siya ang gahelp sa testis magregulate sa temperature. Upo niya ang murag first line of defense ni testis against sa external kwan, external contact. Okay. Um, and then, maunang sakit, hindi kaniya siya kung maigo because this is very sensitive. Okay? And then, kaniya da yung inyuhang seminal vesicle, kaniya inyuhang glands, prostrate. That is actually a part of your, of the, of the male's reproductive organ that adds fluid in hang ng fluid. Ganon kailangan mandaghan siya ang tubig? Because this, kanyang mga tubig na ilang ginaproduce, those are, those contains chemicals na mo'y magpabahog chlorine sa inyong um, product, okay? Sa inyong ejaculate nga um, product, okay? <laughs> so, muna siya ang magpabahog chlorine. And then, important na siya para di mo matay ang sperm once it enters the flora of the vagina, okay? Because the vagina of the girls are very acidic. Okay, it's one. Kailangan dili siya mapatay sa acidity sa flora sa vagina sa babae para makaabot pa siya sa iyahang ovary and para makafertilize pa siya og egg. Okay? Para dili kay pagsulod mo lang sa vagina Patay na ang 13 million sa imuhang sperms. Kailangan at least 5 million makaabot sa ovary. And then one of those sperms na nakaabot sa imuhang ovary ang makafertilize sa egg. Okay? Muna ang importante of your prostate, the health of your Visico, your your glands or other glands, panadra. That's why you have to regulate that. Kaya kung wala na siya, then your chances of conceiving will also dwindle down. 
Mukha may gapo ni mo ang chances for conceiving. Actually, um, I have checked studies. Um, gakaana mo gakataas ang rate sa kuan infertility between men and women. Dili lang babae, apil na laki, gakataas ang infertility rate. So you have to kuan. You have to constantly be conscious of what you are doing. If healthy ba na siya sa inuha, and then if that can actually benefit the reproductive organs of your body or not. Okay? Para, para yung taon, mudaghan pa ang mga tao. Okay? Kung magkaanam, magka, uh, magkataas ang trend sa infertility rates among youngsters, then that that will pose a very, a very serious problem in the near future. Okay? So, may na lang na IVF, in vitro fertilization karon nakatabang siya sa mga couples nga um, five years na lang di pagpaka-conceive, ten years na lang di pagpaka-conceive. So, kung wala'y IVF, then wala. Di sila magkaanak, maskin pag, unsa, unsa nang ritual nilang buhaton, maskin pag, unsa nga, um, saan ni? Hilot ang ilahang buhaton. Okay? So, ito siya. Importante na siya para sa truang propagation. So next, we have here the reproductive organ of a pig. So similar to uh, koan, similar to, to humans, ang urinary bladder, urethra sa pig is actually connected to, to its reproductive organ. So meaning, ang ilang ngutin, maura kaya gawasanan sa ilahang sperm. Kaya ang, ang gawasanan sa ilahang urine, maura kaya pag gawasanan sa ilang sperm. Okay? So they have actually a penis, pero this penis is kuan natago siya sa sheet. Okay? Nataguan siya o part sa skin niya. Dili siya protruding, dili siya gawas. Okay? Wala siya nakagawas. Ayan, na siya mo gawas kung kuan um, in heat ang baboy or kailangan na o partner ang baboy. Kaya na siya mo gawas. Okay? Nakatago na siya sa sheet. And then, na din sila ay sainmoid um, flexure. Okay? Kailangan na nila ang same old flexure kay um, pampadugang sa kwan. Pampadugang, may agianan na itong pampadugang na fluid kung asa may makahelp sa ilahang sperm. And then, ang testicle nila, nara sa likod, hindi siya duol sa penis. So, nara siya sa likod diri para mas dali i-regulate ang heat. Okay? Kaya hindi man sila sa, wala sila ikuan. Hindi sila pareha sa tao nga uh, kailangan mo tindog magkuan raman sila mag they stand on all four legs so ibutang diri ang testicle okay para dali ra maka regulate og temperature and then a scrotum is also protecting it okay next they also have prostate gland okay mo na siya actually ang primary gland sa both humans and and pigs nag uh, and they regulate the sperm, okay? And then they have copper's gland. Actually, nagipay copper's gland ang mga lalaki. Nalimot lang ko kung asa siya sa borborethal or luctus difference, okay? Basta na ito, copper's gland, sana, na-slash na na nila, okay? And then, nasa na retractor muscle. This muscle is there para ipagawas or ipasulod niya ang yahang penis. And then, they also have seminal vesicles. And then, na po sila urinary bladder na connected sa ilahang reproductive system. Okay? So, most, most, kuan, guys, um, sa ini, sa tanan, tanan animals, isa ang baboy sa pinakaduol o sa ni, organ structure sa tao. Kabalo ba mo nga, ang ilang heart is also used as a sub substitute heart para sa mga tao nga na-eye heart disease. Kanang like, for example, wala sila makita ng donor. Then, if the tao is small enough nga maigo sa iyahang heart sa baboy, then they can actually do that. They can replace their heart with the baboy o with the baboy's heart. Okay? So, inga na siya ka kuan. Kasi similar sa ato pa. Ah, maunang daghan religions dili mukaon sa ilaha. Daghan religions murag kadua-dua sila mo 
consume sa ilaha. Okay? Although the rest, sabi na na itong mga non-Muslim sa uh, religion, they really eat baboy. Okay? However, Buddhism... Uh, do not consume baboy because it is also stated in their um, book, their book of faith, nga baboy is very similar to how humans or the baboy is is vastly similar to humans. Okay, so warag kaduwa sila mo kaon kay. It's like for them they're eating one, they're eating someone that is similar to their kind. Okay, so do you eat baboy? No, what's the name? Yes, what's the name? Mukhang... No, ma'am. Justin, personal preference or? Ay, relig religion, ma'am. Ah, religion. What's the name? Religion, Justin, if it's not, ano, if it's not. Seventh day, ma'am, Adventist. Justin. Ah, okay, Seventh day Adventist. So there are also a lot of Christians, no, nga dili, gapon niya siya gina-practice, kanin pag-gaon sa baboy. Um, some born against to, um, they, generally consume baboy but they don't like eating dinuguan na po yung mga ingana okay? okay so whether it's a personal choice or whether it's bounded by faith it's okay na to consume this kind of animals and i just want to share to you lang kung siya kasimilar sa tao para ma-realize ninyo nga um kuan ba ma-realize ninyo ba nga it's not it's wrong to judge them for doing what they do. Like, it's wrong to judge them for um, having their faith. Because in a scientific sense, nasa sila sense. Murag, hanap ito. Okay. In a scientific scientific sense, murag, na sila itong Quran. Na kung maging yung silang uh, similar mga sa tao, then yes. Um, when you see the organ systems, it's, it's closely similar to the organ system but the two organ system so let's start first sa humans first of sa humans because we are very familiar with the no so this is the vulva that is that is koan katong pag open mo sa kweba mo na siya mo gawas mo ng vulva and then the urethra okay now i if means do not at the least, duha actually ang gawasanan sa babae. Okay? Na ay para sa, para sa, kuan, ay para sa pag-ihi. Lahi na siya nga hole. Lahi po ng hole para kung asa mo gawas ang bata o asa mo sulod ang penis. Okay? So, duha kabuk yung hole na na. Okay? And then, for that reason, For that, siya nga lining. Lay ito siya nga. Good ang male reproductive organ is connected to the urethra. Okay? And then, connected siya before siya mabot sa uterus or sa urethra. Or, lagi. It's connected to the urethra. And then, the urethra is connected to the uterus. You see here. And then, it's connected to a cervix and the uterus. Okay? And then, there is a uterus, there is a flourish ang bata once the ovary is fertilized. Okay? Once the ovary is successfully fertilized and the development of a baby was successfully established. Okay? So, kaniyang ovary, nara diri mo ang egg cell, mga babae. And then, once na fertilized na siya, Muagi siya sa fallopian tube and then sa uterus. Then muagi siya diri sa womb or sa uterus. Okay? Dira na siya magkwan. Dira na siya mahimong zygote. Dira na siya mahimong fetus. And then dira na siya mahimong live baby. Okay? Now what happens if wala na fertilize ang ovary? Maglagot ang imuhang reproductive organ sa imuha. What, what they do is that once nga muagi ang ovary sa palopian tube nga dini fertilize, then the linings, na linings ang uterus, the linings of the uterus will, will break down. Okay? They will break down and then that will, that will cause your uterus to bleed. 
pwede. Okay? Okay, so it will cause your uterus to bleed. And then that is what we call monthly menstruation. So every month, mugawas ang imuhang ovary, ay imuhang ovary, mugawas ang imuhang egg cell out of your ovary. And then if dili, wala siya dalang uh, fertilized egg, okay, if dili siya fertilized, maglagot ang imuhang uterus and then bungkago niya yung kaugalingon, maunang magkadugo ta, maunang natay monthly menstruation. However, if it's fertilized, then you will then the lining of the uterus will not break down and then you will not bleed. Okay? So, mga, mga 12 months, 9 to 12 months, siguro kadili mag-bleed na while you are bearing or after you are, after you give birth to a baby. Okay? So, that's it. And then, koan. Now, let's proceed to another animal. This is a horse. Okay? Let's see its koan. Let's see its um, female reproductive organ. So, you have here a vulva. So, dili lang ang females sang na vulva. Na po vulva ang horse. Okay? Now, ang vulva is different from their koan. Um, gawasanan sa tai. Tawa ka na. Lahi ang gawasanan sa tai, lahi ang vulva sa horse. Okay? And then, connected to the vulva is their vagina and their vestibule. Okay? The vestibule is where the penis of a mule will enter the vagina of, will enter and reach the vagina of a horse, or a female horse. Okay? So, connected ang bladder diri, pero sa lahi na siyang vulva gawas. And then, we have here a cervix. And then, and a uterus. And fertilize ang egg. Okay, fertilize ang egg. Then, the, then the ovary, okay, then the ovary will store the fertilized zygote. And then, pag dako-dako na siya, yan siya mga doon sa body of the uterus. Okay? Dira, dayan siya mo grow. Dira din mo grow ang baby horse until sa it's time na dayon nga iyahang i pagawa sa vulva lang yapon mo gawas ang baby horse. Okay? So any question so far regarding the sexual reproduction in um animals between between koan, human and other animals? Any question? Please answer me. Is there a question or none? Wala na? Wala na. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, so this is the fetal development para sa humans. Okay, so zero month, may mo pa siyang zygote and then until sa naka-create na siyang heart, after one month, na na siyang heart, na na siyang digestive system, na na siyang backbone, na na siyang spinal cord. And then, after three months, na-develop na din yung arms, yung hands, yung fingers, yung legs, yung feet, o giyahang mata. Then, at five months, nagsugod na din yung grow ang yung hair. Maunang pagka five months, ang belly sa mama, medyo katul na. Kina na hair, yung baby. And then, mothers begin to feel movement. Mag-lihook na siya. And then, yung giyahang eyebrows and also eyelids will also start to appear. So, on the seven months, fat layers are forming, meaning na na fat layers ang iyahang um, stomach, iyahang mas, iyahang arms, iyang limbs, because organs are ma also maturing. So, the fat layers are, kwan, are, sani murag, kwan ba? Pangsangga manghood sa ato ang body against external contact affecting our organs. So, munang, as organs mature, fat layers are also forming. So, pagka nine months, lungs are now mature, meaning, develop na yung lungs, and then, gawas niya, he can breathe, or she can breathe, he can cry, and then, he will survive. Okay? Now, what if, kuan? Any emergency? High emergency, and then seven months, you anak yung baby because if ipalapas mo niyo seven months, mamatay sa tiyan. So that can, that is actually possible. Okay? That is actually possible.
possible. And in most cases, it's better nga pagawas ni Mr. Seven months kasi sa eight months. Okay? Ipagawas ni Mr. Seven months kasi sa eight months. Kaya at least sa, eight, sa seven months, nagsugod pa man of mature ang young organs. And then, the baby can continue with this. However, pag eight months, kwa naman, on the process naman of maturing, if we pag if mugawa siya haga sa imuhang um, um, if we mong siyang iyan na haga as mag or maturing sa iyang lungs tapos nakagawas na siya sa mong ang liver niya, nakagawas na siya sa womb. Munang, in some cases, mas tiyada yun niya, ipagawas na lang at seven months. Trust the doctor. Whatever he or she will, ano, will tell you, girls, ha? However, it's also vital to, kuan, it's also vital to choose a good doctor. Choose an experience and an expert doctor when giving birth. Okay? To trust. Okay, next. Now, we have, okay, wala na siya. Okay, this one is the, kuan, female reproductive or urogenital organs of frog. Okay, ang reproductive organs of frog, whether female man or male, dili separated sa iya ahang uban organs. Okay? They are actually wag nakadikit-dikit sila with each other. Okay? So, I will present this to you in another day because I will have to run you down with the parts of the frog. Kailangan ninyo i-identify sa ito ang pag-dissect sa frog. Okay? So, this is how they lay eggs. Okay? I'm only made to mo silang eggs once nga humanag fertilized na nan. Okay? Either ang eggs magstay silang likod or ilahang ipagay but ilang ipa free float sa tubig or ilahang ibutang sa sa sagbot or ilahang i-carry sa ilang likod mo nang naman nubo sa ilahang uh, circle circle sa ilang likod or ilahang i-attach sa vegetation para dili mga mga palit sa tubig or ilahang arsahon ilang dalawang dalawang for me okay so kana siya tama i classy after this one Victorious and polite. Do you have a class? Hello? Napa mo yung class? Hello? Wala na ko yung student? Are you still there? Are you still there? Napa mo? So lang PE. PE, ma'am. Napa mo yung PE? Okay, wala. Pagyan po na ko na humat. Okay, so tagay lang kung inyong five more minutes ha. I will just run through the other one, the other um, sani parts of my presentation. So advantages sa sexual reproduction ay variation na kung ano nani nato awela go um variation sa genetic variation sa sexual reproduction. Um, kung lahi-lahi mangkod ang genes sa imo hang parents. Napoy variety nga, nga sa gene ni mo. Pero kung pariho lang ang ilahang gene, then the same gene will also be passed on to you. So na variation kung sexual reproduction. Half of the DNA comes from the father and the other half comes from the mom. Okay? So na ay differences, of course, don't get a variation, na ay differences ang population. But these differences can fight um, diseases and can also develop traits nga which is adaptable to the current environment kada kan sa bata okay? next um the selective breeding will help develop um, many types of plants and animals okay so dili lang kay isa ra ka type of plant ang naa isa ra ka type of bush isa ra ka type of weed isa ra ka type of mule isa ra ka type of dog okay so this will actually develop many types okay and then Ang disadvantage niya is that you need time and energy to do the sexual reproduction. And then most of the time, kailangan o okay, sensitive or nasa danger ang mother or ang, ang father nga nag-carry sa egg. Um, nasa sila sa danger, nasa sila sa sensitive nga, uh, nga period for, for months, days, and years for some other animals. Kaya 
kailangan man o time para mo grow and develop ang baby. Haya ni mo siya mapasagdan. Haya ni mo siya mapakwan. Ma sani haya ni mo siya maboyan. Haya sila makastan on their own. Okay? And then examples of sexual reproduction we have here dogs, okay? Snakes because snakes lay eggs. And then we have here Birds, birds also, and trees. Trees also undergo sexual reproduction. Okay? So, a sexual reproduction. So, a sexual reproduction mainly involves one parent. Okay? So, meaning, ang gene nga mapasa sa anak is the same. Walay variation nga may tambo. Okay? And then, it, with the sexual reproduction, the species or the living organism can reproduce without fertilization. Okay? So, bala na walay lalaki, strong, independent organism siya. Walay tabang sa laing organism, hika here, or the organism can reproduce on its own. Okay? So, this will cause uniform morphs of spring, parihura o parihura DNA, parihura genetic material sa iyahang parent, because isa lang man ang nag-participate sa, rep sa reproduction. And then... So there are different types of sexual reproduction. We have here fission. So fission happens in most of the time in unicellular organisms. So fission happens when a cell divides into two to form identical cells. So DNA is covered, pulling the two copies apart, and then undergo meiosis and mitosis. To, in order to recreate itself. So that's fission. So this happens in bacteria, E. coli, and pancreatus. So next is budding. Budding is when a new organism grows in within the body of the organism. Kasagara, may tabu niya siya sa mga plants. Labi na sa mga cactus. Kung makita ninyo na ay small part sa cactus, na muragay nagtubo sa yaok, smaller cactus. Then that is actually bad. Thing, you can cut that off and then plant it in another pot and then it will grow to a similar plant to that of your current cactus. That also that is also what happens to the hydra. If you can see Muragnay nakatan siya yahang a small hydra, then that small hydra can detach itself from the big hydra and grow into another hydra. Okay? And then next we have regeneration. Not really reproduction in a sense nga maka create siya another another koan, another species. But reproductions, in a sense, nga kung may ma-uba ma sa iyaha nga body part, it can grow it again. Okay? Kung na ay maputol, for example, nga ikog, it can regenerate the ikog. Kung na ay maputol nga part sa iyaha nga body, it can, re it can regenerate that part of its body. So, example are sea stars, sea urchins, okay, gecko, okay? And then, Naapoy ko, naapoy regeneration in a sense nga maka-create siya another organisms. Parehas sa sea stars, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, sponges, and planarians. So, sige, kahit ako, kasi mga tulad sa sea star, di ba naman na siya ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ka pointy fingers. So, it will cut off one of its finger and then that one finger will grow into another sea stars. Okay? The same goes with sea urchin. It will cut off one part of itself, and then that cut off part will grow into another sea urchin. So that's the means of propagation. Okay, next, vegetative propagation. So, paniya siya. Pariyara niya siya sa uniform of spring or sa budding ganina. Um, murag mag-create siya another... another Kwan, another version of itself, smaller version of itself, and then iyahan na siyang i-attach sa iyahang root, and then that 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 attach, that attach new plant that or new root will spread away from the mother, okay, and and bound itself to another part of the soil, okay. So that's vegetative propagation. That what that is what happens with kwan. Uh, um, sa ni kaning mga weeds. Munang paspas kasi sila managhan. Kaya paspas kay lahang vegetative propagation. Paspas kay lahang reproduction. Okay? Munang kung maskin isa lang ka weed ang mabilin dira sa imong soil, a few months after, managhan na sa dina sila. Okay? So, pa 
trust dali makapropagate kay hindi naman siya kay time and energy dali ra kayong mo grow ang ilahang new um sib ay sib new to offspring dali ra kayong mag generate or rapidly reproduce however na may disadvantages because Identical yung lahang of spring, then walay variation. That is detrimental to their survival. Dali na kayo sila mamatay. Kung naay type of kuan, kung naay type of of um, herb spray nga makapatay sa ano Now, kay asin if na imitation sa parent, kung naibri, kung naibri shon, kanang imitation sa parent, dili rasa direct so mapasa sa anak. Wede pa nga mahimu career, a career ang anak. The anak will be left with the chance for survival. However, kay wala may variation na itabu diri, then that mutation will be Inherited directly by the offspring. Okay. So I think that's it. So we have here a bacteria of a sexual reproduction. Nakuha? Any question? Please answer me. Wala na? Is there any question or is there none? Anyone? Okay. So I'll give you this activity. You can pass it tomorrow. Palihog na lang kong screenshot. Again, palihog ko og screenshot. So create a creature, meaning this creature should, should not exist in real life. It should be born from your imagination. Okay. And then this creature, 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 creature should produce sex asexually. Okay, asexually. So you have to draw the creature in as imong imagination. Describe, yun saan niya pag-reproduce asexually. Describe one advantage of reproduction. Reproduction. Sa imong hang plan. And... Taman ras sa naming of your creature. Okay. Nakuha? Nakamas, ma'am. Mana, ma'am. Good. Let me stop presenting. Then pala yung kukopin sa inyo ang ka... Or ayaw na lang. I don't want to open my camera man. Okay, one, two, it. So thank you so much for your time. I will see you next week. Did it? 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 Did it?